This is the day of resurrection. Today, the sun is risen. Jesus, the son of Mary. Jesus, the king of glory. Let us pray. Gracious God, we acknowledge your grace and compassion upon us. We thank you for the sacrament of baptism, which unites us in Christ, bringing life from death to sin and raises us for the newness of life. Enlighten us to grow up in this understanding so that we can witness your grace that enables us to partake in Christ for new possibilities of relationship and reconciliation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and ever. Amen. Let us sing the hymn which is screened. Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like it, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write all these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. God, soul of the world, that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to, God, to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against thee and against our neighbor in thought and in word and in deed, through negligence, through weakness, 
through our own deliberate fault, we are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us for all that is past, and grant that we may serve thee in newness of life, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us continue to pray. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Living God, we acclaim you, majestic in holiness, worthy of praise, worker of wonders. In the beginning, you created the universe. You made the sun and stars above our heads, the earth beneath our feet. Your word brought forth the rock and streams, the surging seas, the wild winds, and the mild. You fashioned life in all its myriad forms and shaped from clay the wonder of human frame. You spoke your word to those whom you had chosen. In this obedience, they turned from your commands. You came yourself in Christ, the word made flesh, but he was shunned, despised by all, forsaken in the darkness of the cross. You made the tree of death, the tree of life, the empty grave, a sign of glorious hope. You raised your son and brought him to your side again, where now he lives to pray on our behalf. Therefore, with all your people and with the whole company of heaven, we praise you in the angel's hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us now hear the Bible readings. Vasika Padam Badiaga Trindakola Patula Termare Pavadi, Romer Adigara Mare, Vasanangal of the Middle Paturi, Romer Are, Vasanangal of the Middle Paturi, Agayal Inna Suluva, Kurubai Perum Badiki, Pavatil and Linear Kalam and Jusuluva, Kurade, Pavatakum Maritanam, Ini Adela Epri Padepo, Christi Esukulaga, Nanasanam Petra, Namanevarum. Orde Maranat Kulaga, Nanasan Petra di Ariam Lirikriagala Melum, Pidavin Mahime in Ale, Christu Maritor Lerin de Lupa Pata the Pola Nam Pudidana Jivan Lorgalai, Adan the Kulum Bariki Orde Maranat Kulakum, Nanasanatile, Christo Rane Koda, Arakam Panapatom Adalal, Orde Maranatin Sailil, Nam Ineka Patargalanal, Our Wilter Lerin Sailum, Ineka Paterpom Nam in a power to cool him, say other Badiki, Pava Sariram, Odin the Pogum Burtaga, Namodea Palaya Munition, Avarode Koda, Silvail Arepata than Jed, Arindrikrom, Maritavan, Pava Tikiningi, Buddhalayaka Patirkrane, Agayal, Christo Odane Koda, Nam Marito Manal, Avarodane Koda, Pelatum Rupom, in the Nambigrom, Marito Lerinde, Elenda Christo, in a Maripadilla in Jed, Arindrikrom. Maranam in Yavari, Andukulva the lay. Our Marita the Pavatik Kendu Uredaram Maritar. Our Pelitir Kurade, Devan Kendu Pelitir Kurar. Param Vindadu. Hear the word of God as it is written in the Gospel according to John, chapter 12, verses 20 to 26. John, chapter 12, verse 20. Now, there were some Greeks among those who went up to worship at the festival. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, with a request. Sir, they said, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went to tell Andrew. Andrew and Philip in turn told Jesus. Jesus replied, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servant also will be. My father will honor the one who serves me. Here ends the lesson. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Shall we look to God in prayer? May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, 
our rock and our redeemer. Amen. The theme that is chosen for today is baptism, dying and rising up with Christ. Baptism, dying and rising up with Christ. Baptism is the application of water to a person by sprinkling, pouring, or immersion in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit as commanded by our Lord Jesus, as we see in Matthew 28 and 19. In all cultures and countries, baptism is viewed as the act of conversion from one religion to Christianity. It symbolizes that one is dead, buried, and resurrected along with Christ. It is one of the initial steps in salvation, as we find in Acts 2 and 38. Baptism shows that we become children of God and are admitted to the church of Jesus Christ. From the very beginning, the church has followed Jesus' command and baptized new believers. Baptism is not unique to Christians, uh, Christian religion. Before the time of Christ, non-Jewish converts to the Jewish religion were often baptized in water. The baptism which John the Baptist gave to declare the advent of Jesus to prepare the way for him also had a Judaic origin. The people who repented and decided to live an ethical life took baptism under John the Baptist. Jesus himself was baptized by John the Baptist in the river Jordan, as we find in Matthew 3, 13 to 17. Although without sin and without the need for repentance, Jesus was baptized to fulfill all righteousness. After his baptism, the Holy Spirit descended on Jesus, empowering him for service and ministry, as we find in Mark 1 and 10. Jesus described his death on the cross as his baptism, as we find in Luke 12 and 50. Jesus' baptism of death and his resurrection is the basis for our baptism, the reason we are able to be baptized. Baptism, dying and rising up with Christ. In the gospel reading, we see a call to deny self like Christ, to deny self like Christ. Even though baptism is a rite, it symbolizes of being united with Christ. The name of Jesus is declared on the one who is to be baptized. What happens in baptism is that the one who believes declares that he has become a new creation. The old personality is dead and through baptism receives a new personality. Baptism points to the act of participation in the death and resurrection of Christ and putting on Christ upon oneself. In John 12, 20 to 26, we see Christ calls us to become grains of wheat, wheat like him, to fall on the ground and die, to give much fruit. He who loves his life in this world will lose it, but he who hates his own life will keep it for eternal life, as we find in John 12 and 25. Here, Jesus gives an agricultural illustration to show why his death was necessary. Any seed that is sown must die before it comes to life. Jesus was like a kernel of wheat. By dying, he produced much seeds, that is, the 12 disciples who were later called the apostles. And from the 12 disciples, many other seeds have sprung up and are still springing up today in an ever-increasing numbers. Although Jesus was comparing himself in particular with a kernel of wheat 
the comparison is true for all Christians or all Jesus' followers. By dying, we too produce the fruits, the most fruits for Christ. This does not mean that we all have to physically die in order to produce fruit, even though some are called to be martyrs. But we all must die to ourselves. Our old sinful self must die. Otherwise, we shall not be able to bear fruit for Christ. If our sinful self is not dead, no one can see Jesus in us. Then Jesus said that the one who hates his life in this world will gain eternal life. Jesus did not mean we must actually hate ourselves. Rather, he was saying that our love for him must be so great that in comparison, our love for ourselves seem like hate. Indeed, we cannot have our old sinful self and Christ at the same time. Then Jesus continued, whoever serves me must follow me. The Greeks sought Jesus as we see in verses 20 to 21. But to see Christ is the only the first step. We must then believe him and then serve him. If we love Jesus and want to serve him, we must follow him. Where Jesus goes, we go. Where he sends us, we go. That means we must be ready to suffer and even die with him. Those who follow Jesus in this world may lose their lives in this world. They may lose their possessions. They may lose their honor in man's eyes. But in exchange, they will get to live with Jesus forever. That is, they will receive eternal lives in heaven. Those who die in him in baptism will rise with him in glory. They will receive honor from God because God honors those who honor Christ. Because those who honor Christ honors God. In the epistle reading, we see the theme, dead to sin, alive in Christ. In the preceding chapter, that is Romans 5 and 20, Paul wrote, but where sin increased, grace grace increased all the more. But where sin increased, grace increased all the more. Paul's meaning is this. No matter how much our sins increase, no matter how great or how numerous they become, God's grace is always great enough to forgive them. However, some people might be tempted to say, well then, Let's sin all we want. Whatever we do, God is going to forgive us. We don't have to worry. The more we sin, the more grace we will receive. By no means, says Paul, such thinking couldn't be more wrong. In verse 2, Paul says, we died to sin. What does Paul mean by this? He means that when we believe in Christ, our old sinful self died. First, we were slaves of sin. Then we died. Any slave who dies is no longer under the control of his master. He is free. Through God's grace, we have been freed from the power of sin. Let us not live in it any longer. In verse 3, We see that when we believe in Christ, we are baptized into his death. When we received baptism in a spiritual sense, our sins are washed away and our old sinful self dies. After that, we are a new creation in Christ with a new spiritual life, as we find in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Thus, baptism in a spiritual sense is really the death of our spiritual self and the birth of our new spiritual self. Baptism 
is the death of our sinful self and the birth of our new spiritual self. Therefore, when we are baptized into Christ Jesus, our old self, in a sense, dies with him. We are baptized into his death. And if we have died in Christ, we shall also rise with him to live a new life. Jesus, just as Christ first had to die in order to rise from the dead, so also we must die to sin in order to rise to new life in him. Therefore, to be baptized with Christ means to die with Christ, to be buried with Christ, and then to rise to a new life with Christ. Paul says, if we had been united with him like this in, this, in his death, we will certainly also be united with him in his resurrection, as we find in verse 5. To be united with Christ in his death means to die with Christ. To give up one's old life is not easy. Yet Paul makes this promise. If we die with Christ, we will certainly also be united with him in his resurrection. Many people acknowledge that Jesus is a great leader and they want to live a new life with him. But they have no interest in dying with him. We easily say, I am a Christian, but we need to ask ourselves, have I died with Christ? Because if we had not died with him, or if our old sinful self had not been put to death, we cannot receive new life in him. In verse 10, Paul says, Christ died to sin once for all. That is, he died for the sin of all men. Let us remember, Christ himself never sinned, but he came into this sinful world and lived among sinful men. And he has taken men's sin and buried them together with himself in death. That is what Paul means when he says that Christ died to sin. Christ died to sin, but now he lives to God. In the same way, we too have died to sin and are alive to God. So Paul says, count yourself dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. To count means to think about something with great certainty. If we have truly believed in Christ, then we are certainly de uh, dead to sin and alive to God. This is certain. We can count on it. Therefore, let us act according to this knowledge. Let us act like it was true. When a Christian dies to sin, his old sinful desires should die also. And in their place should come a new desire from the Holy Spirit the desire to please and obey God, and from this new desire, new behavior must arise as well. We are baptized to unite with Christ, to take part in the death of Christ through baptism. We are baptized to unite with Jesus Christ, to take part in the death of Christ through baptism. Not only are we buried with Christ, but also walk in the newness of life of resurrection through the glory of the Father. Amen. Let's profess our faith through the Apostles' Creed as screened. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, Lord of all who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Let us sing together the closing hymn as a screened, during which time the offer tree will be received. You can bring the offer tree when you come next time to Bishop Heber Chapel. Let us look to God in prayer. Loving Lord, we thank you for the new day that you had given to us, for we could come together and worship you in spirit and in truth. We thank you for the message on the sacrament baptism, where we could die to sin and rise with Christ. What a joy you had given to be in your company throughout the sacrament of baptism. We pray that you will help every baptized believer to live up to your expectation and experience the newness of life always. Lord, we pray for the Madras Christian College, the professors, the non-teaching staff, and our beloved students, Keep them all safe from the pandemic. We pray, O oh God, that you would destroy the pandemic completely. It is foreseen that another wave is yet to come. O oh Lord, we pray that you will uh, remove the pandemic wave completely and uh, safeguard uh, humanity. Protect everyone and uh, keep us safe in your arms, O oh God. We thank God for those who celebrate their birthdays, wedding anniversaries, or special days. Grant them your grace and guidance. We commit the entire congregation into your holy care. Safeguard them from evil. Protect them from danger. We commit our Bishop Heber Chapel Sunday School children. Help them to grow in you, help their parents and school teachers to nurture them in sound Christian faith. Protect our children from all harm. 
as we go through the course of this week help us to follow god's ways than our ways help us to do our respective responsibilities diligently thank you for being with us from the beginning till the end of this service in jesus precious name we pray amen may the grace of our lord and savior jesus christ the love of god the father and the fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with all of us this day and for evermore